Hey, what's going on everybody? It's the Crafty Man here. And in today's video, I will be doing an epic 10k. And for some people, if you're good at sniping players, it is only an under 10k squad builder. Um, now, this is a good squad builder. I've um, used it a lot, especially to beat my friend Ardy can crap at FIFA. And um, basically, pretty much, it's it's a uh, Bar Barclays Premier League squad, and everyone knows you can get a good sweaty, sweaty squads. Okay, I, I don't even know why I struggle to get out. But anyway, time to bring you this amazing squad. Now, the formation you want is a 4-1-2-1-2. Now, this is, uh, as you can see, centre-back. If you want four at the back, never play with three at the back. If you want two, five, but never play with three at the back. It's just stupid. Then you're going to want a CDM, a cam, and then left mid, right mid, and then two up front. I always prefer to go two up front because it means you've got a bit more attacking force. And to be honest, if you want to get those, especially where a sweaty team, you need two really strong attackers. Anyway, let's get into it. Now, our first uh, player is the goalkeeper, and it is Karius. I don't even know if I pronounced that, that right, but it is the Liverpool goalkeeper. He is um, a pretty decent uh, player. Uh, he only comes around, yeah, 900 coins. He's got pretty good stats, especially that 85 reflex and the 84 dart dive. His speed isn't that good, to be honest. But anyway, six foot three. He's actually a great, um, great keeper, to be honest. And definitely get him because he's probably the best cheap BPL um, under uh, 2k keeper you can get. Now, for our first centre back, you're gonna want to get Sacco. Yeah, Sacco. I've currently got him suspended, but. Anyway, you want to get Sacco. Now, this makes a good uh, 10 chemistry link with the keeper. And also, he's actually an extremely good cheap player. He comes in again around 900 coins. And he is actually a really strong player. He's big. He's got strong. He, I think he's... Yeah, look at those stats. They're just solid stats, aren't they? you got 81 defending. you got 84 physical. He hasn't got the best pace, but his um, physicality and his defending just totally makes up for that. Now, for the other player... We are going to have Matip, another Liverpool player, giving them that good, uh, solid green triangle, giving these people uh, the best possible chemistry as well. Now, this makes it a good high-rated defence. He's also a very good player coming in. With pre it's not he's not got one amazing stats, but his stats are all pro probably pretty good for a, a cheap centre-back. He's even a little cheaper. You can get him for about 850 coins if you look right. You can get it. He's got 72 pace. He's Obviously, you don't need dribbling and shots, but he's got that a really good 84 defending, a decent pass, and good physicality. He's just an overall really good player. Now, into left back. For left back, we have Clichy. Now, he's been good over the years, and he's obviously uh, his account, and his, account <laughs> his card has got worse over time. However, he's still an extremely good left back for the PPL. God, I can't get that out. Anyway, enough of my crap English. He is about 900 coins. He's uh, got 83 pace, which is pretty good for a left back. Yes, you can get better. But um, I suggest maybe putting a good chemistry style on him if you get a bit more of that. But he's got decent stats. I wouldn't say they're the best, but the best you can get for under 1,000 coins and for this squad builder. <laughs> now, for the right back. For right back, we have Zabaleta. Now, he's always been a strong right back in all the FIFAs I've played, which is since FIFA 13. You know, he, he's got great um, defending, great physicality, especially for a right back. But the only problem with him is that he's got bad pace. But you can get him for 700 coins, which is literally what you could discard him for the same price as you sell him. Super cheap for what he's worth. He, honestly, what he he is worth a lot more coins than this because he's got solid stats. And except for his pace, he honestly just makes his team solid. Now, CDM. Now, CDMs are quite hard to find because a lot of the good ones are very expensive, so I've gone for Schneiderlin. Now, Schneiderlin um, is good. He gets a good link with Sacco with the chemistry, and his stats are actually okay. As you see, he again goes for discard price, 700 coins. He's got 75 dribble, which is okay. You really want, want to be looking into the physicality and defense when it comes to CDMs, and he has that, and he's got a decent pass as well. So you really just want to buy him because look at these. There's plus 70 stats except for the things that he doesn't actually need, which is always great. Now, on to the left midfield. Now, everyone knows who you need when you come to left midfield. It is the man himself, Theo Walcott. 
Now he is an absolutely amazing player, he's just got unreal pace, not as good as he used to be, but it's good and that's what you need to be honest, what you want in your uh, players out wide is good pace and good dribble and he's got all of that, you know, everyone knows that he's got an amazing pace, he hasn't, hasn't got great passing, he's got an okay shot but he does the job that you want done in left midfield. Now onto the right mid. Now right mids are a bit hard when it comes to choosing, but I've gone for Dyer. There are some other good options, but I think he is a very good option as he is. Again, 650 coins. Literally discard option. I'm sorry I didn't mention before. Walker is about 1.5k from the market. He's gone down a bit. But again, it's not even coming near 10k at the moment. And that means we can splash a bit on the, uh, especially the roles that matter in the team, which is up front. Anyway, back onto Dyer. He's got 90 pace and 81 dribbling. Again, like I said, with your players out wide, you're going to just want those two stats to be high. Everything else matters, but not as much. He's got also got four star skill moves, which is great. So you can just uh, go down the wing with him, cross it in. And with who we have up front, trust me, that works. Now into Cam. Now Cam is probably the most important position in this team because it controls all the middle and all the up top. Now who we have for Cam, there's quite a few options but I think the best is Oscar. People don't really rate him in this game but I think he's a really good player. He's got four star skill moves, he's got all good um, stats down the left and 83 dribble. Now what really appeals to me is that 79 pace and 83 dribble workout because you can get away with this player, get past those slow defenders and then pop it into who you have up front. So he is actually a great player and I really think you should buy him. Now to finish off the squad builder we have two amazing strikers. Now these two have a great link and I think a few of you will have guessed who are coming. Now there's good strikers in this league and there's okay and these come in the good. This is Remy. Now Remy everyone knows he's been amazing for the past few FIFAs but he's actually got even better because he's up front. Now he's got four star skill mode. He only costs 1,400 coins and um, 89 pace that's what you want you what i go for up front is one who's great at shooting and heading and one that's just got the pace and he is the man with the pace he has 74 dribble 89 pace 80 shot it's all there 72 physicality and sorry to mention i actually forgot that um uh, oscar has is t about 2k i got him for very cheap so we still got i think we spent about 8k at the moment you still got 2k to splash who do you have now since there was a bit of a market crash, I got this player for very cheap. But we all know it has to be the man himself, Ben Teke. Now, he is a great player, except that he left bloody Villa. But he is a great player. Honestly, three-star skill moves a bit disappointing, but he makes it with his four-star weak foot. Now, his stats don't actually look that appealing. He's 1,000 coins. And for those stats, you'd be thinking, oh, I just looks like one of those crappy players who will get some dead in form. But actually, that 84 physicality just makes him such a good player. And his head... Just gets on to absolutely everything. Everything. I mean, I've never missed a corner with him. He just gets his head on there. Now, you want to get this player because he'll just make your team. And now, especially with Remy, these two just make a brilliant pair because you can get that ball to Benteke. He can hold it off with great physicality and then get it to Remy, who will be forward. And, you know, he's got that good shot. 80 shot. Bang. So, to wrap this up, here is the team itself. I hope you really guys try out with this. This is especially for start people starting FIFA, even though a lot of people have it, or if you just lost Koi because you've been an idiot. But anyway, thank you for watching, and bye from the crafty man.